than ever before. We live in this climate of fear. We're pummeled 24 seven with reasons to hunker down, play it safe. My next guest, Margie Worrell, is up against it all. She is an internationally acclaimed keynote speaker and best-selling author. Change, even change for the better, is always uncomfortable. And often people will ask me, oh, how do I get more confident? I, you know, I wished I felt brave. If you're waiting to feel brave and be filled with confidence and not be worried you're gonna mess up, you literally may be waiting until the end of your life. You cannot wait for courage. I actually grew up on a small dairy farm in rural Australia. The school was one room and there was 13 kids in the school. My family was half of it. I'm the big sister of seven since leaving home at 18. I've taken a lot of steps outside my comfort zone. I was the first in my family to go to college. Along the way, what I realised is the more we act with the courage that we wish we had, the braver we become. Every time you act in the presence of fear, you dilute its power and you grow your own. Courage is like a muscle and it grows stronger with use and it grows weaker with a lack of use. So who here goes to the gym? Few of you, oh, come on, I should see more hands. After this weekend, I want everyone going, yeah, I go to the gym all the time. And we are wired for that emotional comfort. But it's only when we decide to get out of our comfort zone, or sometimes you might be forced out of it, kicking and screaming, that you learn, that you grow, that you build your psychological muscles to do more things and bigger things. Growth and comfort can't ride the same horse. And for you to do individually, but collectively, what you're capable of doing, you cannot do that while you're comfortable. If you do want to survive and actually thrive and get to number one, you cannot discount the cost of inaction. There will always be a tension between safety and security and comfort and between growth and learning and contribution. What does it take to thrive in life? It takes to embrace change, to be open to change, to lead change and to always be looking for what are the opportunities that hold. We are twice as sensitive to potential losses as we are to potential gains. But if we don't give ourselves the freedom to make mistakes, we also deprive ourselves and others of the opportunity to learn the most valuable lessons. So often our, our failure to trust in our ability to deal with the risks gets in the way of us taking the very actions that would put us in a better place six months from now, a year from now, three years from now. It's easy to get caught up focusing on what could go wrong and really we've got to take that focus and shift it and go what do we want to make more right? You have no idea what you're capable of doing if you don't dare to do more than you have done before. And please don't let your fear of what could go wrong keep you from taking the very actions to make things more right. Thank you.